Look at the cunt. Jesus. What is gonna go on here today? So yeah, apparently at the end it's sometime, so... Look at this shit. Days without activities found. Oh, there was plenty of activities. They just fucking weren't here! Dick head of a machine! But yeah, back at <laughs> Well, that's the first day back to work done. Didn't do a big one. So they come home and spend some bit, bit more time with the kids. Clark's gone to bed because he was been very bold, wasn't yeah. he? Oh, he was shouting and screaming and roaring. He's the very same as his mother, isn't he? Daddy, what? Clark stresses me out. Clark does stress Lily out because he's always trying to take your ties and he hit you with Baby Barnes potty, didn't he? Yeah, on the head. But you're strong, aren't you? Mm -hmm. So I, I let. Box him. No, you don't do that. Mm -hmm. So then I let Lily stay up a little bit longer because why? Because you're the best daddy in the world. Because I'm the best daddy in the world. And any other daddy is just is just fronting. You know, because you don't want no scrubs, don't you know? No. No, no scrubs. Me and Ross are sitting on the floor. Never watched Star Trek before, so we're watching Star Trek and Teddy. And uh, we're eating Pringles. Have to sit on the floor because Vicky's on the phone all day. She's a wedding tomorrow or something. I'm not going. Fucking unbelievable. She keeps listen to her. She's gone silent now because she knows you're good one. <laughs> Did you know Gary Dottery from Donegal is getting married tomorrow to Laura? What a gimp. What a fucking gimp. She'll end up robbing your money anyway. No, they don't rob your money. You just end up just having to give it to them all the time. Your wallet slowly gets empty. To just, you know, you hand the money, and you don't, all freedom out the window. Credit card. You're basically their bitch. You're going to be her bitch. Your credit card becomes her credit card. Just don't stick a baby in her. Don't do that for no, your don't fault. Don't be, don't be, yeah. Hey, no, no, I'm in who's that? He's talking to your mammy. Yeah. Oh, I'm, mammy's I'm, after again. Where did he say he was? Where Vicky's did you say you were? Uh, I'm in Vicky's house. You're in fucking my house. Hey. Also, guys, whoever learned drivers or on David Snapchat, don't go near um, the Rush Hour Road because um, the guards are pulling. I don't give a fuck about the guards. You can't. Those bastards. Hey, you, the guards are only doing their job. Okay, thank you. The guards are a bunch of fucking. Now, Ross. Ross. Including that fucking one in America that said no. their jokes are shite. Come on, Todd was an American police officer. Todd was a dick nosed bastard. Todd was a gimp, alright, but all the Irish guards are brilliant. And like you can't get in trouble for eating crisps. I heard that Pringles you know, and shit. I heard they have sexy dick. <laughs> oh god, I can feel my tits getting bigger with each Ferrero Rocher. I can but it's Christmas, my, so I don't really care. I can feel my dick getting bigger with each and every Ferrero Rocher that I eat. <laughs> <laughs> Why didn't you buy Vicky a car for Christmas? Why didn't I buy Vicky a car for Christmas? As much as Vicky would love for me to buy her a car for Christmas. I actually find it fears funny like that is the most unrealistic thing ever it's like hey honey i love you i just made a huge financial decision without consulting you and merry christmas and you might need to get a second job <laughs> to pay for the fucking thing <laughs>